Twice a year, Dr. John McDougall's Health and Medical Center presents the Advanced Study Weekend at the beautiful Flamingo Resort and Spa in Santa Rosa, California. This event, which is also available to view online, is dedicated to broadening the understanding of plant-based nutrition and conservative medical care. The sold-out 2012 September Advanced Study Weekend was another great success with an unprecedented lineup of expert lecturers. Here we see Dr. John McDougall in his presentation of The Diet Wars, explaining why this subject is so important to him. But the drive for us is to make a future for our grandchildren. We have five now. We have four grandsons, we have a granddaughter, and we'd like to make this place livable for them. And so that's my main goal, is to try and change the future. I want to change the world. Yeah, I really do. I want to change the world. And I want to do it for my grandkids and your kids and your grandkids. That's what I want to do. And part of this has to do with the diet wars. There are diet wars going on, and we need to be involved just like we were involved in a real battle. And the, the ultimate outcome of that battle could be life or death. Dr. George Lundberg asks, is the Affordable Care Act, Obamacare, good or bad for you and the country? I've talked about the overall health care system. I've talked about anarchy and chaos talked about consumer-driven health care and talked about the single-payer system. Here I describe two acceptable alternatives while holding my preferred reform for a few minutes down. Dr. Dean Ornish explains the power of life cycle changes and love. Attention to say, hey, listen up, pay attention. You're not doing something that's in your best interest. And if you just ignore it, then it just gets worse. And so what we try to do is to help people use the experience of their suffering as a doorway or as a catalyst for transforming their lives. Because change is not easy. But if you're hurting badly enough and you can connect the dots between when you are feeling pain and why, then the pain itself can be a powerful catalyst for transformation. Joseph Kean presents Dairy, Essential Nutrition or Health Saboteur. You know what their primary motive was? Profit. If we bring in that healthy food, we won't make as much money for the PTA. Yeah, yeah. You really, you wanna put your children's health at risk over a few extra bucks? And that seemed to be the primary motive. Uh, this is a tough thing. It's a tough thing, I think. Dr. W. Clifford Roberts discusses 50 years in the cardiovascular arena. Later, 1939, uh, there was a study that came out and asked the simple question, how long does it take to heal a heart attack? Medically, it's called acute myocardial infarction. How long does it take? In other words, how useful is science? Data. Anybody know? Dr. Catherine Milton presents Evolution of the Human Diet. I don't want anyone to run out and think they can eat like a chimpanzee. No, 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 don't try it. You're not a chimp. You cannot deal with all of the volume of indigestible material and so on that a chimp does. These are genetic differences. They are under genetic control. You are not a chimp. Okay, so don't try to be like a chimp. You can eat plenty of fruit, but you're no chimp, okay? Rosemary Gibson talks about how the overuse of medical care is wrecking your health. I just want to thank uh, you, Dr. McDougall, and Dean Ornish, and all the other physicians out there who do go against the grain, because it's not easy to go against the grain in American medicine. And that's the topic that we're going to talk about today. I'm really delighted to be here. I also think very seriously, this is a presentation that could save your life or the life of someone that you love. Chef Kevin Dunn presents low-fat starch-based vegan cooking, Ethiopian cuisine. So I don't know if you can see this. This is the basil chiffonade that I have. And the reason, now I, I put damp paper towels on this because if you cut this too soon, it turns kind of dark. So by putting damp paper towels on it and keeping the refrigerator, I kind of postpone that. Have you had this one yet? Oh, good. I caught up. 
So I'm just doing parsley and basil. I think parsley is the most overlooked herb. You know, Dr. Michael Clapper discusses your GI tract and your food. But people, and, and they can be useful in healing uh, acid reflux. But realize nature knows what she's doing. That acid is there for a reason. You need that stomach acid for digesting protein. You need it for absorbing iron. You need it for absorbing B12. Don't turn that acid off month after month after month. You know, they tell you just start taking the pill. They don't tell you when to stop it. And I've got people who've taken it, been on them for years. And they say, Dr. Keith Block and Dr. Penny Block present Life Over Cancer, a new model of integrative cancer treatment. Cause a deficit. Um, chemotherapy causes a deficit in micronutrients. Well, you can replace those micronutrients before you get into some of the side effects and some of the clinical problems that can occur because of it. Self-healing program, what he found is that people who engaged actively in their self-healing, they put their um, energy and time to implementing all the healthful lifestyle changes that are critical actually lived so beyond any expectations of the oncologist. So I can't... Here's Jeff Novick, RD, with Nuts and Health, what the science really says. John mentioned uh, the diet wars and he gave you his perspective on it. And you know, at the heart of some of the diet wars amongst the plant-based world is nuts. And so I thought I would um, repeat my, do my talk again on nuts, and actually I've expanded it quite a bit. So there's a lot more information in it if you've seen this before. And you know, today, not just amongst the plant-based world, but nuts have become a superfood. And they make many, many claims about nuts, right? And you've all heard them, right? Like? Dr. Doug Lyle presents The Continuum of Evil. And uh, what we're going to do is we're going to talk about how to manage a problem. And that is, if we start to do things healthier and better and we learn some new things and we start to try to implement them, it upsets people. And they start putting pressure on us and they try to draw us off course. Now, they don't necessarily consciously mean to do this, but other people wind up being one of the biggest problems that we have when it comes to uh, keeping a healthy course uh, with, our, with our diet and lifestyle. So this is about how not to fight them and argue with them and uh, have to part ways with them, as sometimes people have had to do. But instead, find a way to get along with other people without going along with what they're doing. So this is what that's about. So whether you're just starting out or already on the path to better health, everyone can benefit from this educational information. And remember to mark your calendar for the March 2013 Advanced Study Weekend. For more information, visit us at drmcdougall.com. That's drmcdougall.com.